Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Stengler. In this short video, I'm going to talk about the use of digestive enzymes to help people with irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. Now, gas, bloating, abdominal pain, bouts of loose stool or constipation are all common symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. And this common condition, believe it or not, affects about 45 million people in the United States, and that includes children and adults. And it's not a fun condition to have. It really disrupts your daily routines. Now, conventional doctors may tell you the cause is unknown. However, I found throughout my 26 years of treating people with this condition, there definitely are known causes. For example, food sensitivities, eating too many refined foods, fructose or sucrose malabsorption issues, increased intestinal permeability, known as leaky gut syndrome, infections in the gut, especially things like yeast overgrowth, uh, parasitic infections, uh, imbalance of the gut bacteria, known as dysbiosis, an imbalance between the good and bad bacteria, poor stress management, and the poor digestion and breakdown of food. And I'm going to focus on that last issue right now, uh, the poor breakdown of food. A lot of people due to chronic diseases, due to chronic stress, uh, people do not have good digestive enzyme released by their pancreas. And so they're not breaking foods down effectively. And as a result, you can get all sorts of digestive issues, and more inflammatory and immune reactions in your gut, especially in the small intestine where the absorption takes place. But undigested food particles also create more symptoms in the colon. Uh, the bacteria in your colon will work on this undigested food matter, and then it'll break it down but create a lot of gases as well. So there's many different ways you can get symptoms from not breaking food down effectively. So while we're trying to identify and treat the root causes, it can be very helpful to put patients on good digestive enzyme supplements. And these uh, supplements help to break down fats, proteins, starches, fiber, sugars, gluten, uh, even things like lactose. And so these enzymes are produced in labs, the modern digestive enzymes are, and they're extracted and purified actually from uh, fungal organisms and probiotics. And so uh, they're often termed as vegetarian or fungal-derived enzymes. There's no plant materials. There are animal-derived enzymes people can use to break down food as well, but most of us doctors have moved away from those oh, in the last really like 20, 25 years, so they're not as common anymore. So we use these fungal-derived or these uh, probiotic-derived combination-type enzymes. And the advantage of these types of enzymes, uh, and often they're, they're described as being aspergillus derived, is that they survive stomach acid very well. The animal derived enzymes, besides the purification concerns, um, don't survive stomach acid as well. And so these types of modern digestive enzymes do survive stomach acid and work quite well. And so there's been some studies done on them and they have been shown to definitely break food down more effectively help with a variety of different digestive conditions. And so it's something I find patients find helpful, again, while we're trying to treat the other root causes of why they have irritable bowel syndrome. And most patients, when they start using these types of enzymes, uh, taking usually a couple with each regular meal, they'll notice a difference just in a matter of a few days because they're breaking their food down more effectively, getting less immune reaction in the gut, creating less gases and uh, symptoms as a result of that. So good digestive enzymes certainly are highly indicated for people with irritable bowel syndrome. If you want more information on treating digestive conditions, go to americasnaturaldoctor.com. There we have radio shows that we've archived, articles and videos as well.